Well, here there's the people of Manangreed have come together to say no to oil and gas here in the estuary of the Liverpool and the Blythe River. They're saying no to anything that might damage their country. And they're saying, we've got our rights. We fought for this land. This is our, our land. Doesn't belong to the government. Doesn't belong to the land council. Anyway. Doesn't belong to Palta. Belongs to the traditional owners. People like Helen and Eddie are saying no. And they are strong. And I think they are going to fight Palta until Palta goes away. Walk around with chains on our feet. Our eyes police the people on the streets. Trapped in the mightiest of chains. We'll never see. And I speak on behalf of Men and Greta because this is my motherland. And what I say, Men and Greta are going to start off small, national, not internationally. I'd like to hear the world that we don't need this stupid thing called gas and 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 um, Nanaba oil. Maybe there's oil in here. But who gives a care? Who damns a care? Let them take all their machinery away from us. And in future, we'd like to see our children to be living in a healthy lifestyle, like the way we are now. The steward is here with me now from environment, and he's a wonderful man to tell us, but nobody knows about this Polter. If Polter want to come and see us face to face, we need to go and see face him because he thinks he's a great man to take our land, and see especially. And I'd say this to Mark Bruner, the head of Paltar in America, you picked the wrong people to fight with, because these people here are not going to give in. These people are going to say no, and they're going to beat you. You are not going to win. There will not be an oil and gas rig out here, or in this country. So you should go somewhere else, because these people have been around longer than you. You're a Ballander, who never even had the guts or the honesty or the courtesy to come and sit here in the ground with the traditional owners and talk to them and ask their permission whether you can come onto their land and think about exploring for oil and gas. You've ruined countries all around the world, in America, in South America, in Africa, and now you want to come here to the Territory, and you're not welcome. And I think people right around Arnhem Land coast, from Croker right past here, Nolan boy down in the Gulf, when they find out what you want to do, they'll say no. Tell this white man that you don't want this shit coming to your country. He will destroy your area, your dreaming, your sacred site, your whatever. What you got to give to your children next, your next generation coming up? What you got to give them? What you got to show them? So me and you better get up here, the whole of the Manager that we're living here, that which how many tribe we're here, we gotta get up and say no to this mob coming over here to ruin this country here. I grew up here. I grew up and I'm married here and I'm I got children here. I like Manangura because we're all family here. We gotta get up and stand up and say no to this who is that blog said Tony Tony something environment blog. Mark Bruno, Mark Bruno, you there, you on the you on the camera? You, you in there. You can see me. I'm talking to you. You come over here and talk to us here. Not send us a piece of paper. Because everybody here saying we don't want it. Saying no to you. Can you understand this? No, it's your language. Look it up in the dictionary, what it means. Thank you very much. We don't need you to show us the way. We don't need you. 
show us the way Don't need you to show us the way. We don't need you to show us the way. 